All right, guys, let's break this thing down. We have a Chris Vector Gen 2, though all the gens disassemble uh, essentially in the same fashion. So we're gonna take this thing down and uh, discuss the internals a little bit. So for starters, I'm just gonna pop off this optic. Proof clear, magwell's empty. Okay, and then basically there are these four push pins and that's how you disassemble uh, the upper and the lower receiver. So we'll just pop those out. They're not captive, so you can just pull them right out. They're very similar to like an HK style push pin. Get all those out. And some of them can be a little tricky. So those three are the ones that are needed to disassemble the upper and lower. That just pops right apart. So you guys can see you have the lower, actually this is a technically the upper I guess, with the fire control group in it. And I will discuss a little bit more how this thing works. It's kind of not your conventional system, though nothing about the Chris Vector is very conventional and that's what makes it so cool. And then here, the guts, everything that's going on is really in the lower, uh, which is basically a barreled action. And uh, we're just going to, we'll see that the recoil system and everything is still all intact. You have to pop out this last pin to get that out. So now we're all, all four are out. You can see the bolt carrier group comes right at the end. And that is super, super interesting. You just twist the bolt that releases itself from the carrier. This is all captive. And basically you just kind of wash that off as you go. Just clean it off, clean off the carrier here. You can see a bit of grind there. I don't shoot this gun very much. It has a very low round count, um, but you do get grime and stuff in there pretty quick. And you see a little, little recoil buffer there as well. Just so it's when it's bottoming out, it isn't, uh, isn't really bottoming out too hard. Just want to clean everything up nice. You can see here's your, your charging handle, nice little non-reciprocating right down the barrel. And that's that's really it guys, it's super simple. So that's basically it for the disassembly of this thing. I'm going to pause here really quickly and then talk about the internals in greater detail. Uh, that'll get, you know, that'll be a segment of tomorrow's uh, main overview on the total Chris Vector. And uh, otherwise, let's just jump back in and reassemble. All right guys, so I think I satisfied my what I needed to do for showing how this thing works. Uh, if you guys want to see it in action, like, or just me playing with it, I found a good way of manipulating this so you can see exactly what's going on inside this gun from a number of angles. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for the overview and then just, if you don't care about all the other history and stuff, just skip forward to the internal review section, basically where I, where I just omitted from this field strip, just in the, in, in the interest of keeping this field strip very simple and to the point and fast. So anyways, if you want to see how that works, tune into that. Otherwise, let's put this thing back together, which is very simple. It's just the exact opposite of taking it apart. So we're going to start off by putting your bolt in. And obviously, you can see the bottom has these grooves in it. You know, the top has this more angular angular approach because you can put this in backwards. So you don't want to do that. So again, this kind of hexagon shape up. Put the bolt in the first set of grooves. Both the uh, the top or both both sections of the lobes there. Carrier goes in the back set of lobes. Push this in. I put this uh, first pin in first because it'll just secure the carrier group while you're putting the rest of the gun together. So that's that's that. I think have your hammer cocked back is a bit easier. And then we'll just mate these two assemblies like so, and just pop the pins in. That's literally all there is to this system. It's marvelously simple. And again, some of them can be tight. This bottom one particularly, because it also holds the uh, the carrier groups. Sometimes you need to put a bit of pressure up on this to get that one in there nicely. Same with disassembling. Sometimes you just have to put a bit of pressure and that makes all the difference. And that's, uh, that's it, guys. Quick function check.
Not the world's best trigger, but still pretty cool. That's it for the field strip of the Chris Vector. Thanks a ton, guys. And as always, the bonus gun. Let's bust out the Chiapa 1887, model 1887. This is a T model with kind of the rubberized furniture. Pretty cool, which I'm getting dirty here. Just a really slick mare's leg shotgun. Pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. We'll get a view of this one, formal video series on that one sometime in the future. I'll toss it in there sometime. Lots of other exciting stuff on the way. That's it. Thanks a ton, guys. Peace.